felt this actor guilt. Like, should I know what? Do I have to know <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Janelle, everybody talks about Tommy's walking and talking. And mm -hmm. Josh and you, or Josh and your character, have incredible walking and talking scenes. What made those scenes work so well for the two of you as actors? You know, I, I think the other actors might agree with me. The walking and talking scenes are the easiest scenes to do because you don't have to act. All you have to do is say those scene <laughs> first, not run into the cameraman, <laughs> scene, right? And it's just like, like you're brilliant. You don't have to do anything. CJ's looking for you. Huh? CJ's looking for you. Donna? Yeah. Good morning, Josh. It's a pretty good way to start the day. Good morning. What's up? CJ's looking for you. So I'm in the office. Josh, I'm saying CJ is looking for you. What did I do? How would I know? Because you know everything. I do know everything. Those were the most pleasurable scenes um i i do remember one time this moment that where i turned around and let brad sign something on my back where i kind of bent over and turned and i thought oh that was naughty that was really naughty and then that kind of like those little moments during the walk and talks we would find these little kinds of flirtatious things that you like if you were taking a video you'd be like oh she was just letting him sign the thing on her back. But um, all of those things were a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, but in general, I think that we all just, it was so much fun to do those, those walk and talks. It was just so much fun that you, you, you know, we love, all of us love acting and we're all, we're all pretty good with language or we wouldn't have been able to, to do what we, what we did. And um, so the challenge was just like, remembering your lines, and and doing the scene and i think they all were kind of fantastic when it started i remember thinking uh you know i was putting a piece of paper down here picking a file up here walking talking and i felt this actor guilt like should i know what do i have to know what <laughs> <laughs> and very quickly i realized oh no no you don't need to know that and i uh we got this uh, the yeah. other thing i realized is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is that? Uh, I realized we she's even good on Zoom. Like she's <laughs> even good on Zoom. Like, give her an award. Give yeah, her an award. Yeah, yeah, let me go to the, th the thing with walk and talks though is is that uh, if if it wasn't Tommy, Tommy would understand. We're gonna get it. We're gonna blow the first couple of takes, but then we're gonna get it. What was awful is if a director came in and started to micromanage the walk and talk because then the Zen would just get sucked out of you and you'd be walking like a llama. Um, <laughs> so for directors out there, if you're doing a big walk and talk, just stage it and then let the actors do it. And it was always, I always ached for the guest actors because you could tell they were terrified because they were doing this kind of iconic thing. And I remember I realized this one guy was like terrified. Uh, and so, I purposely fucked up the first take just to show him <laughs> that it's okay. You can it up. We'll get it. That, that was very. That's very sweet of Brad because you did that for me every single time we worked. Together. As well. As well. So generous.